Um, so the Queen, have you seen the picture of the Queen today uh, yeah. on the front of the papers with her walking stick? Uh, this was a, an official engagement at Windsor Castle. It's a lovely photograph, that, actually, lovely. isn't it? Yeah. Um, apparently, according to reports, she's refusing to be photographed in a wheelchair. Um, and I, I don't know, obviously, whether that's true or, or not, but there does almost seem to be an embarrassment attached to ageing, which is Why a real shame. Why are you looking shame. at me? Constantly. No, no, I'm, listen. <laughs> no, seriously, Gloria. I mean, I've gone on, on about my hearing, which I think, oh my God, I'm, I'm getting old. So I'm the worst for you being are, embarrassed you are. by age. I know. You've okay. got such a thing about age. I have. She never meets have anyone you? without asking me their age. Like, if I bring up somebody, I know she's just waiting to ask me how old they are. <laughs> I mean, I do. I watch, I watch television with Ian, and I'm so watching the television. Whatever actor, actress, whatever comes up and I'll go, what age do you think they are? And you'll go, I don't know, and I'll say... Rrr, rrr, and I've mm. got it within seconds. I mean, she gives me a hard time, Gloria, <laughs> every day. I know, you're nah, nah. Nah. I know. The, th the thing is, I mean, I, first of all, I love the Queen, and she's 95, and she's entitled to have a stick, let's be honest, Oof, if she wants yeah, to. Yeah. And it was a very nice walking stick. The, uh, for me, anyway, um, of course you'd always like to be younger, naturally. That ain't going to happen. Um, and I think when you're 60, 70, you get all the zeros. And then I think... That's a bit of a shock. You think, can't believe I'm 70. And then you get to the next one, you think, I certainly can't believe I'm that one. Um, but then once you get into the decade, for me anyway, you tend to forget it. I mean, I just genuinely do not try to think of my age because my life, in a way, of course, has changed, but in here, in here, it mm -hmm. hasn't changed because mm -hmm. I'm still working. I, I saw you put up the working for 74 years. I started to sing when I was seven, started to earn a little bit of money, 10 shillings as it was then. But you get an independence and you get a thing in your brain. I like this. And so I've been broadcasting since 69. And the, the thing I'd love to say, actually, to all of you girls, I mean, behind my back... Make us somebody, feel good, Gloria. No, some, <laughs> some people might say that old bag or something, but I've never been made to feel old by... Anybody on a team that I've worked with. Because you're not. Because you're yeah. not. Well, but it's very you nice. You are in years, but not in yourself. Yeah, but I uh, see, uh, earlier on I used to think, now you could be my child, and now I think you could be my grandchild. <laughs> so I know what's happening in here, but it's all about attitude, I think, and a bit of zest of wanting to do something and energy. And I do take a load of supplements and things. I don't mind saying, I probably take about 35 supplements a day. Yeah. Really? Wow. Uh, because I yeah. think if I stop them, I might follow. And, and if you, you find a... tricks, what about yeah. you at the airport the other night? Oh, I have my trick. You see, you talked about embarrassment, but I'm not embarrassed about doing this, really, because I did have a bad shoulder injury. That bit of it's true, like, years and years ago. But she's so what I do it? now, and I did it this week, <laughs> I came back from Belfast Airport on Tuesday night, and I look for the nearest, youngest... Fittest man I can see. <laughs> Don't we all? Them. <laughs> yeah. Not to chat them up, but to lift my case off. <laughs> and so what I do unashamedly is I walk around the carousel and casually stand beside this person. <laughs> and then when my case... Then just before my case comes, I say, sorry, would you mind? I Sorry, Ginger, I don't really lift them. <laughs> Would you mind? No, not at all. And people are delighted to help you. Yeah. But it doesn't make me feel old. It just makes me feel practical. Yeah, well, <laughs> uh, that's what they call you there. Yeah. 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 I actually think that photo with the Queen with her stick, she looks quite powerful. She yes. looks like she could go Obi-Wan Kenobi she if does. she wanted to. Yeah. <laughs> she it's just quite looks... high up, I think. I'm yeah. just not really sure how that but works. You know, the other thing about the Queen, I mean, maybe not that dress, but I see this in you as well, Gloria, and I'm sure you've said this about your mum, Nadia, mm. in terms of, like, wearing bright colours and still mm. very much sort of being both, in the room. Yeah, both my mum and dad. My dad has about ten different berets, all of assorted gorgeous colours, always wears a very bright pashmina -y sort of scarf, and my mum's the same. She's the colours got... Oh, look, there he is! with these little... Oh, uh, and really? My mum says something beige there, but she they wear so much colour. And when they walk into my house, whenever they do, I'm always like, oh, wow, I, I get the wow every time I see them. But that's... but. There are things that I think we tend to, as young, say, oh, you shouldn't be embarrassed by this and you should use this mm. wheelchair if you need and you should use the stick. But I, I'm really mindful not to do that, having been around now people that are very elderly. Because, like you say, Gloria, in their head... I mean, like, my dad, my mum and dad, when they travel, they, you know, years ago, they started getting the porter wheelchair because they both have bad knees. And they're fine with it now, but I remember it's probably about the third time and we were waiting for ages. My dad just looked a bit sort of glum. And I said, oh, Dad, how is this? Is this all right for you? And he said, well, you know, if I am honest, it's a bit embarrassing. 
Oh. But I, see, can do, and I thought, yeah, I but can... But see, I can do the reverse of that, because mm. I, if I'm being honest, I would say, well, I wouldn't be in a wheelchair, possibly, if I could manage to get to that faraway gate, that would be fine. But Stephen had a fractured back not that long ago, and so he had to have, you know, the buggy thing that goes down, I loved it, but I felt like saying, <laughs> it's him, he's got the fractured back. Yeah, you, yeah. yeah. But I loved the buggy, and when we got back and reversed... And did you have a young man running along the side <laughs> yeah. of Gloria? Well, 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 okay. to keep you company. <laughs> yeah, my husband's got a fractured... Well, sorry, would you mind doing the need for But the other thing is, when we got back, they now have wheelchairs that's like a tandem. So the guy said to me, well, you've got to get on the back one. It's the first time I'd seen it. Oh so it's God. like a tandem wheelchair, and they took us Sounds right out to the... a bit kinky, actually, <laughs> Gloria. <laughs> really? You know, I've no idea the excitement I have when I travel. <laughs> I know, I want to travel with you. <laughs> this is all ahead of you, Frank. I know, I know, you guys. I feel like I'm going to be so prepared by the time I get... <laughs> yes, I have, like, you know, the menopause, by the time You're I need hearing aids. You're always more exhausted than Gloria is. I know, and that's the thing. I want to know what you're taking, I because you I am always tired. <laughs> I need to know but your you've got supplements. You've children, haven't you, running around after I know, bits. but that's no excuse, did you, Gloria. Did you go up with your grandparents? You yeah, know? so my grandparents looked after, after us you know, pretty much every day. So my granddad or my nan would pick me up from school. And I just always remember my granddad, bless him, I'd be out in the playground, I'd be like, granddad, 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 <laughs> and he'd just be standing there looking around. And, and then he'd eventually spot me and be like, oh, sorry, Frank, I have to turn my hearing aid off out here. <laughs> all I can hear is all the mums chatter, it's too loud. And I just think, it must be so oh, hard. Oh, it used to be you know, so they do, He would do it all the time, yeah. and I think, it. Having a hearing aid is one thing, accepting it, but it must pick up every single and there's sound. And embarrassed again. People get embarrassed yeah. about it. My dad did. He was always taking his out and leaving it somewhere. Yeah, my, my mum and dad did too, and I, I, I've, no, I've no idea. Well, I say I've got no idea why. I shouldn't say that because, as I've said, I probably do need a hearing mm. aid, and I'm having to process it too, but I'm determined to embrace it. I, I am. But they're I'm, so small gonna... now anyway. Why not? Yeah, I know. Could I just very quickly tell you how you know when you're getting old? Yeah. You know when you're, get, you're getting old, when you've got all the answers and nobody ever asked you the question. <laughs> or they, they admire like your crocodile shoes and you're not wearing any shoes. <laughs> or your partner says to you, darling, let's go upstairs and make love, and you say, you've got to choose one or the other because I can't do both. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why you've been working for 70 years. Because yeah. you're living good. Stay in the arms. Yeah. That's how to do it.